Hey, how are you? Welcome to this video. So in the previous video, we had configured Open5.js with Vagrant and in this video, I will show you how you can configure UE Ransom with Vagrant. It has the similar steps, but it is essential that you configure both of them using Vagrant so that whenever you want to spin up those virtual machines, you can do it easily. All right, so I'm in my directory and created a new directory called a UE Ransom Vagrant. And if I just do ls-lrt, you will see that it contains nothing here. So I will just do a vagrant in it and let me just open this in my code editor. So inside your Ransom vagrant, I have a vagrant file. Uh, for your reference, for your reference, I have already provided this on git. You can just copy it from there. I have just copy and paste it in the vagrant file and you can start your virtual machine. But I'm just explaining you what is going in the background. So first of all, I will just remove all these comments. This is the API version, that is two. We are going to use the base image, or you can say the vagrant box that we are going to use is Ubuntu Focal 64. I'm going to define some of the configuration. I will define the IP address and I will define a network name that is called private network and the IP is set to 102. Keep in mind for open 5GS, if I show you the file, I have given the IP address as 101. So this is the IP address 102. Then I will make a folder synchronized to home vagrant. And right now I don't have this folder here. So I'll just open terminal here and create a folder data, which is which is mapped to home vagrant in the guest operating system. Now we'll go to the virtual machine definition from the provider virtual box, uncomment this stuff. And for the provider virtual box VB, we are going to use the GUI as true. I'm going to define the number of CPUs and we are going to use memory as 102 for itself. So for UE Ransip, you don't need much of the memory. Now, if you go down, you have the provisioning part and you can, you can just uncomment this stuff and paste the following. So this is just what I have copied here in the single VM. Most of the steps are same. So you just need to follow this or you can just copy paste this vagrant file and you would be okay. So if I go to my terminal and do an LS, I can just do vagrant up and it will start provisioning the details. All right, let me just fix this. So I'll just skip the, some of the part of it. All right, so the build is successful and we can test it, but let me just go to my code editor and you can see inside data, you will have all the uh, directory which has been mapped in home vagrant and inside config, you can see you have the custom GNODB, custom UE, Open5.js GNODB and Open5.js UE as well. So you can use it to configure your UE and GNODB configuration directly from your code editor and the changes would be applied in the UE Ransom. This is a highly efficient way to work with Open5.js and UE Ransom with Vagrant. Go ahead and spin it up this on your lab. And in case you have any issues, you can either contact me here or on Discord for any support. And I would be happy to help you for any of your queries. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.